Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Wednesday Checkout. <laughs> Hey guys, Gideon Bosman here. Hope you've had a great week so far. I definitely did it and it's getting better as soon as I see your faces. Today we're checking out something called speed ramps. Now it's a very simple artistic thing to do and it's a, it's a very easy to do it. The complexity in doing speed ramps comes in the how you apply it creatively. So we can do some simple uh, uh, transitions with it and we can also create some very, very cool effects with this. Now enough talking from my side, let's show you how to do it. Okay, so I've got something in the timeline here. I'm now gonna show you the tools we're going to use to do speed ramping. Okay, the first thing you can do is we can right click on our clip and activate Retime Curve as well as Retime Control. So what you'll see now is the Retime Control shows you that this video is at 100% and you'll see straight lines at the Retime Curves down at the bottom below. Okay, so let's go to somewhere in the video and add a speed point. So the moment we add a speed point, you'll see there's a kind of a split in the video. The left shows us 100% speed and the right shows us 100% speed as well. But let's now change the right to 800%. Okay, and uh, just like that, you've done your very first speed ramp. Okay, so let me just enlarge this slightly. So top right, you can uh, increase the, the amount of percentage speed change you see. I'm just going to increase this to about 900% so that we can see what's going on. So now we can see this immediate split in the curve. Okay, so here you'll see the key point that we added. So what I want you to do is click on this white dot and then you'll see here to the left, there's these two options. So one is just a straight line and the other one is, is how we do introduce a speed curve. So with the speed curve, we've got a gradual increase and a gradual decrease in speed. So we can also sharpen this a little bit by changing the spline tool. Okay, let's see what it looks like. All right, awesome. Let me show you how to do a rewind. So I'm gonna add a speed point here. I'm gonna right click on this section and I'm gonna say rewind 800%. So it'll immediately add a section where it's rewinded by 800%. And you can see it says reverse minus 800%. This is what it looks like now. Okay, let's change this up a bit and uh, make the reverse section a bit longer just to illustrate it better to you. And let's also introduce our splines to these key points. And uh, what we can see now is we can't actually see the reverse, but that's because our bottom viewpoint is at 0%. We need to increase it to see the curve. So I'm gonna edit this figure at the right bottom of this window to let's say minus 900%. Okay, so now we can see what we're doing and this is the end result for this. So you'll notice there are two lines here. So that's because if you go to the drop down at the top left, you'll see at the bottom there's two tick marks, one for retime speed and another for retime frame. So one of these curves is for the speed and the other one is for the frame. So we can also use the frames to retime the speed. It's very sensitive as you can see here and uh, these are just different methods of introducing speed ramps. You can choose what works for you. The retime speed works best for me. All right, so that's everything you need to know about speed ramping tools. Now let's see how to work with this in actual videos. Okay, so let's just open this timeline over here. And what I've done is I've, I've pre-worked five examples for you of how we can use speed ramps. Okay, so the first one we have is a simple ramp down. So it's where we start with a very fast speed and go down to normal speed, so 100%. So with this, we'll use the spline and you'll see an extremely high percentage for my speed ramp. That's only because I shot at 120 frames per second and I moved quite slowly. So this is what this method looks like. Okay, so the next method is basically starting the same as the previous one, but here we introduce a reverse as well. So what we'll do is we'll zoom into the light, have a slow moment at the light, and then reverse back out and continue with a reverse negative 100%, so normal speed, but in the opposite direction. And this is what that looks like. Okay, so the third one is a ramp up, ramp down transition. Now, sorry, you can't see the second curve here as well because they're overlapping but essentially we have a ramp up to a, from a normal speed to a high speed, and then with the next video, we ramp down from a high speed to a low speed. 
I've got a little bit of a blur transition here as well, so a transition effect. And uh, this is what this looks like. The fourth method is where we have a low speed, we jump straight up into a high speed, and then we ramp down to a normal speed, and ramp up again to a high speed, with a straight cut down back to normal speed, 100%. So it gives you this kind of punch effect. Okay, so this last one is where we use a trick where we only use the retime controls, not the curves, where we alternate between slow moving, so normal speed, and speed ramped or high speed videos. So we've got three frames of normal speed, three frames of high speed, and then again, three frames of low speed and three frames of high speed. So we alternate this, and ultimately the only thing I use here is a retime control, so I speed up the footage by, in my case, alternating between 24,000 and 32,000 percent, or actually 70,000 percent. Again, that's only because it's high frame rates. And uh, this is what this effect looks like. Now what you can do is you can add some music to it and add some sound effects, and then you can create some amazing videos just like this one.